Hi, my name is Alex Williams. I'm the head of animation at Escape Studios in London, uh, the founder of the online animation school Animation Apprentice, and I run the online MA in 3D animation at Bucks New University. And one of the most common problems faced by students um, is, the, is the question of technical problems. Stuff doesn't work. I get emails in my inbox all the time saying it doesn't work. Uh, so this is a very short video to talk about how to solve technical problems, um, how to overcome them, because technical problems are limitless, constant, frequent, and will be the plague of your life. Uh, and the important thing is to understand uh, a methodology for, for solving it. Uh, so first of all, the, 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 the problem that um, people face when, when stuff doesn't work is obviously how to fix it. But what you really need to be able to do is to frame the question correctly so that other people can help you. So for example, we have at Animation Apprentice, we have a dedicated Facebook classroom to um, dedicated to students posting their work, giving each other help and feedback. And that is a great place to solve technical problems. And I encourage all my students to post there. But you need to be forensic about what the problem is. If you just say it doesn't work or Maya doesn't work or Maya isn't allowing me to do whatever, that doesn't necessarily help anyone. What you need to do is to get used to um, being incredibly specific about what's going wrong. So let's say, for example, you're not able to install a plugin. It's like the Parent Master plugin or the Tween Machine or, or the Anchor Transform tool. Some of these plugins that we recommend students download uh, for use in Maya. So you've got to ask, you've got to ask well, what, what's going wrong? Why isn't it installing? Are you getting an error message? Have you followed all the steps in the video? Uh, one really great way uh, to help is to get a, take a screen grab of what's happening. So post the error message itself at the Facebook classroom and then you can you can annotate it and explain what's going wrong and what where it's going wrong precisely in the process. You know, good questions to ask yourself are, uh, you know, what version or good questions to ask are, are what version of Maya are you using? Uh, if this is an Internet related problem, what browser are you using? Um, you know, be as specific as you can, give as much detail as you can with what's going wrong and this will help people to fix it. Now, of course, my students can always email me, but students are in different time zones and, and sending me an email isn't necessarily the quickest way to solve a problem. Much faster is, is an upload to the Facebook classroom because there's always going to be somebody looking there, somebody who can help you to solve your problem. Um, one other great way of solving problems is to record a video of what's going wrong. That you can use if you're running a Mac, then um, uh, uh, QuickTime will allow you to record a very, very uh, simple and quick uh, video of what, what's going on on your screen, a screen recording, or you can download the OBS software, which is open source and free and also has a pause button, which is great, really, really handy. And then you can record a quick video, upload that to YouTube, embed that at the Facebook classroom uh, to, to show exactly what's going wrong. But resist the temptation, and it is a temptation, you know, and we all feel frustrated with technical problems at times, just to say, it doesn't work. And then when somebody emails you and says, well, can you be more specific, what's going on? You just say, it doesn't work. Ah, you know, I'm having trouble, somebody fix it. Um, you've, got to be, you've got to be specific, you've got to be forensic, you've got to explain, help us to help you. That's the way to do it. And also understand that no matter where you're working, no matter how sophisticated the studio, no matter how many resources the studio has put into their IT, there are going to be IT problems. It is just the nature of the modern world and you need to be water flowing around the rock. And there will be rocks. Think of it as, 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 a, as a white water rapids journey. Uh, and you're in a boat and you've just got to go round the rocks, right? You've, you've, you've just got to find your way through because technical stuff is going to hit you all the time. What you mustn't do is give up, um, but, but you, know, you do need to ask for help. Um, and but you know don't forget the many resources that are out there obviously Google you know you can always Google a problem um, and there are many many threads and there's also the official knowledge support at places like Autodesk which will help you get around stuff but don't give up be specific ask questions but frame the question in the most exact way you can with the most detail you can think of even irrelevant detail um, just so that people have the maximum amount of information in order to be able to help you get around the inevitable technical problems which you will face in, um, in 3D animation. So how can I help you to become a professional animator? First of all, subscribe to my YouTube channel, get all my free stuff. Secondly, if you want to get started now, sign up for my course at animationapprentice.org or come study with me at Escape Studios or sign up for the online MA in 3D animation at Bucks New University.